Hello everybody, welcome back to Black Desert Online. Uh, just a quick heads up before we get started. Um, I've tried to record this episode a couple of times already, but my internet connection seems to be dropping a lot. No idea why, but it is. So hopefully we can get through this episode without it dropping again. Right, so I'm on all grey. I'm not on the uh, Valkyrie, this is the Wizard level 18. Uh, and I've logged him on mainly to uh, tell you what I've learned so far about uh, Black Desert Online, about the, uh, the nodes and the fishing and the crafting and the processing. Um, I'll just show you first of all in the uh, information. Well, the training there, the breath. Now this levels up as you are running about the the world, so you don't do anything about that. That just keeps leveling up. Uh, strength. This only levels up when you're carrying a trade pack, and it levels up quite slowly. I see. I'm level two. And health. That levels up when you eat the food. Oh, have we got any food on us? And I think I can show you that. Uh, we have steamed bird on us. All right. Let's just. Eat that and watch that as I do it. And there we go. It goes up. I've still not reached level 2 on that yet. I need to buy some more food or make some. Which is something I've not quite found out what to do. And stop barging me over like that, people. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're the basic things that you need to know for running about in uh, Black Desert. I do find it's got quite a high uh, learning curve, this game. Um, if you don't, you need to learn pretty fast. Huh. And not a lot of it is explained in great detail. Uh, what was I going to say? About, oh, the uh, the nodes, the need for crafting for harvesting and gathering. As you can see on this map, we're in Vili at the moment, and I have this node linked, which is linked to one down here, which we'll go to in a few minutes. But I also have this one linked, Finto Farm. And currently, I've got workers out on this. I've got harvesting potatoes and chicken meat. I don't quite know what to use them for yet. I've been selling them and making a little bit of money, but as it goes on, we will learn more. Now uh, that little shadowed head that you can see there, which is like a, a robber. Now if you were doing the a trade skill run and you're trying to get your strength up, which would be from there to say like there or there, because while you're walking with it, your strength increases. Now if you've got one of these on the road that you're walking in, you're going to get attacked and very likely you will die. So always keep checking your map, just to make sure there's none of those in your way, and you can change around. Why is that all gone? Just gone funny. Okay. Oh, that's somebody typing it, isn't it? Oh, how sad. Uh, right. So that's nodes. Um, while we're on that map, actually, workers. As you can see, I've got three workers, three giants, and a skilled goblin worker. Which is the newest of my workers. And when I hired him, he was a blue one. So he's slightly higher level than those. Well, slightly better, should I say. It's like the tier of armour that you get in most uh, MMOs. You know, green to blue to purple to whatever it is, legendary. Which is like an orange normally, something like that. Uh, I think when you get to level 10, you do get a quest to send them on, which is for them to complete a task oh. or a test, huh. which levels them up, and that will then turn blue. So we've got two level seven, uh, seven giants that are getting close to that. Oh. Uh, recover all. Can we recover all? No, they're working. They're all working. That's okay. We don't need to recover. And if you wanted them to recover then you need to have beer in your inventory for them to use. I'm not quite sure how many you need. I've not recovered them yet, but I have got a couple of beers. 
I don't think that will do for all these though. I think I'm going to have to buy a lot more. Okay. Now I currently think that Old Grey, yeah, he's got no training apart from a bit of gathering that he's done out in the world by himself. Uh, a bit of training. No, I'm not quite sure what training is. When you level up your mount, skill level will increase more easily. Okay. I've hardly ever used my mount, which is a donkey. I normally run everywhere. Let's have a quick look at fishing, shall we? Now, you can fish while you're AFK. Now, I've not tried this in all grey yet. But I'm going to try it now. If he's got a fishing rod, that is. Yes, he has. Alright, there we go. Equip the fishing rod. Cast a line by pressing space. And then sit back and relax. Go and make yourself a brew. Or just go and wander around the house or around the block. Because you have three minutes. And I'm not quite sure if that's from now or for when he actually gets... Uh, a fish to bite. Now when he gets a fish to bite you'll have the choice of pressing A and doing it manually or don't touch anything and he will auto fish. There we go, it's fell to bite and we have two minutes remaining so we will hang fire, I'm not going to press anything and we'll just see if this auto uh, AFK fishing works. As you can see, I've got tools in my inventory as well for uh, trying to level up some of these other skills, which I'll try to do. When you're actually doing these skills out in the world and you're using those tools, then you will use energy. We're currently at 34 of 44. So, like uh, a game like Arcage, the labour points, that is very similar energy. Contribution points, they're what you use to buy the nodes. Which are, um, I can't show you at the moment because you can't use the map while you're fishing. Oh, hello, somebody in a boat. Hello, officially good Kazama. Yeah, contribution points. Uh, you use them to uh, to buy nodes, and that's how you link them. You use the contribution points to link it to your main node, and then you can launch another node that links off that one. And it might cost you maybe two more. Contribution points, and you can link it in. And then when you buy yourself some workers, I think you get one free worker per city. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's correct. But you can hire others from uh, the NPCs in the village or city. But then you'll need to buy a house, which again I'll, I'll go into. When we finish this fishing, I think I'll show you on the map. So, it's just a case of sitting here, <coughs> sipping on my coffee, and waiting for less than one minute. And I think it's going dark, is it? Is the sun going down? I think it is, which might cause a problem with the next thing I wanted to show you. Hmm. What time is it? Oh, it's weather clear, it's not... I think it's dusk though. So we need to catch this fish quick. And there we go. He fished on his own and now he's casting back out again. Did we catch a fish? Yes. Mackerel, where is it? Where's it gone? I didn't see it. Alright. Let's just get rid of that. Ah, there it is. A mackerel. Right. 
Right, let's just move into the sun a little bit, shall we? There are loads of sun here, so I think this is how it works. Start. And we need to dry it. Put the fish in there. And there we go. The fish has gone into the bowl in the sun to dry. Again, it's just a case of waiting. And it's dried. I think. Yep, it's dried. Alright, so then. There we go. We now have a dried mackerel. Which you can sell on the vendor. Or you can sell on the marketplace, I do believe. So that could be used in cooking. I believe it's got about 24 hours before it actually goes off. Right, moving on to... The housing that I mentioned before. There you go, as you can see I've got three houses in here. The blue ones are the ones you can buy. I've got three. I've currently got that. Which got an ammo workshop in which I have absolutely no idea how to use. So we'll forget that one. Then we have that one there which is for storage. That's three more spaces in storage. Which is in there. And then we have a lodging. Now this is for your workers. So if you want more than one worker, then you need to buy yourself a lodging. Which means you can hire two more workers. In fact, we could probably hire one more worker. I think we've only got two, I might be wrong. Alright, uh, where, where am I going, where am I going? Mm. I think he's up this way. Oh, oh that's not him. I'm exhausted. That's not him either. Where is he? Is he around here? Yes, here he is. Alright, so this is the dude in Velia that you hire your workers what from. What do you want? You need workers? Contract workers. It costs five energy to hire a worker. Uh, a giant. Yeah, why not? Costs. Hire worker. There we go. Lahar's trying to open this village up to the big cities. Uh, he'll ruin us. All right, now then. I can't just stand by and let him get away with it. Have I got anywhere for him to work? What is that? That's gathering. And there's lumbering. I could do with that, actually. Lumbering. So, how many points have we got? Currently have two. Alright, let's do this, yeah. Let's get him to uh, to run all the way over there. And we'll have a see if we can get this worker working on the uh, lumbering there. Not quite sure I like this banging into people business that you do when you're auto running. Hello. This is, it looks like the sun's going down. Look at that lovely effect there of the sun through the trees. But like desert combat wise, um, as you know, I'm not a big fan of. Um, Action combat. Um, I do prefer tab target combat in 
it's nice and slow and easier. Your keys in order to uh, do these skills. Um, this is very combo based. So I'm obviously, uh, my memory is not what it used to be. I'm coming up to 60 years old. <laughs> Or oh, very near 60 years old. So your you memory goes a little bit, as does your reflexes. And uh, I think I can remember maybe three, possibly four combos, and I use those nearly all the time in Old Grey. Oh, we're here already. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, so. It's not too bad, but there's no way I'm ever going to remember uh, a bag load of uh, combos to use. I'm surviving, I'm doing my job. I've died a couple of times, but I think that's through the, the amount of mobs I've pulled rather than my skill. Um, right, so let's finish that there and let's get back onto this. Um, right, I need to talk to this person in the well, I think. Do I look like I'm no management. Right. Contribution invest. Yes, because I need that node in the middle. Now, can I get this? Is it going to cost me too many? No, I can invest. And there we go. Got one giant worker free. Start work. And he will now make his way from the village over to the lumbering and he will start chopping down trees, I do believe. Right, so we managed to get that done. Now why is that flashing? Oh, right, okay then. I've done most of the quests in Velia. I've been quite a way away from here, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, I've, b I've been all over the shop on Old Grey, um, but I think I've nearly done everything in Vila, apart from befriending Clarence, and I'm about to show you why. We're going to run back again now, now we've done that. Off he goes again. There's a system in Black Desert Online, a conversation system where you need to speak to NPCs and up your faction with them. That's the way I can uh, put it, the easiest way I can put it. And I will explain it further when we get back to that area. Wish I could run like that. I'm going to hit him. <laughs> it doesn't take too long to run from place to place. And when we've gone through the conversation, I will actually show you the trade as well. Uh, carrying a trade pack and how the strength works and how you increase your strength. Right, we're nearly there. Oop, I'll dodge that. <laughs> right, so rather than go over to Clarice, whatever she's called, we're going to talk to this guy. I heard women pick houses based on what furniture suits the interior. Alright, so we've got conversation. We're currently on two of three. Right, so here we go. You need to increase your amity with this guy, which is basically faction. Make him like you. So requirement for this session is a maximum favour of 20 or more. Uh, discussion out of four or more must be chosen. That's four or more of these. As you can see, I've spoke to nearly everybody in this town, so. Right, so let's have a look. As you can see there, sparking interest, 42% and 34 to 59, the favour. See that in red, underneath the interest level? 
22 to 29, 82 percent interest. What do we need? We need 20 favour, so any of these will do for the favour. But we'd increase it by a hell of a lot more if we can manage. See, 42 percent, that's less than a 50 percent, you know. It's quite a good chance of not sparking any interest and losing the combo, so we'll try it with, uh, let's have a see, what can we do first? 82%, that's quite good. 22 to 29, nah. 45%, 100%, 5 to 8, that's not good. 3%, no. Let's have a look at this one. As you can see there, the higher the sparking interest percentage is, the lower the favour is normally. Uh, oh, that's on, that's 100%. And 37 to 41, that is excellent. So we'll put him there. 73%, we'll put him in. 100%. Uh, 85%. And uh, that should do it. Let's try that. Conversation. Here we go and watch these... And the, the hole. And the hole, we've got 41 enmity for that. Accumulated favour level 399, maximum favour level 112, so that should be enough for what we needed. Let's take that and exit. Now, if we went back in again, what would it say now? Spark the interest of sealers two consecutive times. That'd be pretty easy. So let's do that. Spark interest. We're not after a particular amount of favour, so let's do that. Uh, do that. I mean, we could get more favour with him by putting in the, the good stuff, I suppose. Yeah, let's put that in. Put that in. Let's take... Oh no, let's do that. There we go. 26. Oop. There we go. Right, we should leave it there with him. That gives you a basic idea of what to do with the conversations. The conversation is now two of two. So we could exit him. Right, now for the... <laughs> now for the test. I can't do this woman. She's driving me berserk. Florence. Oh, well, I've done it. Two of two. But I haven't got that yet. The potion. Which we need to get a certain amount for the quest. Right. Requirement. Talk freely with Clorins. So, basically, I can put anybody I want in and get as much favour as possible, I think. That's how it works. Let's try... Well, let's try that. I'm looking for the highest favour. That can go in. That can go in. Put him in last. So what have we got left? Two. Put that one in. And that one in. Oh, damn it. What do we get? Plus three enmity. Amity. God, it's painful. Right. I could carry on. No energy consumed. Failed to spark the interest of Clarence four times. Oh, God, that's not easy. No, I don't like that. I'm not doing that. Let's have a quick look at the quest that we've actually got for her, shall we? Befriending Clarence. Increase your amity score to 31. Conversation. Current amity, 
14. <laughs> oh, there we go. Spark interest three consecutive times. All right, we'll try this one again. Spark interest. All right, so we need... Put that one in. 85%. That's good. 100%. Two to f oh, no, no, no. Um, yeah, get that in. Definitely him. And we'll put 73%, we'll put him in. Plus five. So current amity is 19, so that is going to take me forever. I think yes it will so we will leave that that is for me to do when you're not here with me I think uh, have we got anything else in the immediate vicinity I could do a look at that there's the robber oh I said we would look at the trade didn't we right okay let's have a look at the trade um, right now all I need to do is remember where he is and I think he's here uh, there's a luxury goods. Yes, there's a trade. Look at all these wagons here. <laughs> That's... What's that? There we go. Oh no, what's this? Oh, looks like we got another quest here I didn't know anything about. Oh, it's not a quest, it's just info. Okay. Right, where where is this person? I can't see them in the middle of all this. Nope. Trade manager Baha. I'm a merchant. I even bargain in my dreams. Right, trade. Well, as you can see, there's different things that you can trade. I'm not 100% certain how these things work, but I can show you how it works to carry the stuff. Oh, this costs 746, we'll, we'll take that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do one maximum quality, you just want one. Okay. Let's purchase that. Then to... As you can see, I'm moving very slowly, and I've got a backpack on. Right, so then, let's have a look. Map. Uh, right, robbers are over there. Map. And auto walk. There we go. So we've put... Bring up your information, and watch... The strength. And you'll see that starting to increase as we're walking. As I said, I, I don't know an awful lot about Black Desert Online, but I'm learning. So I thought I would just share with you guys what I've learned so far. And this is it. I don't think I'll put you through the, all the pain and agony of watching him walk all the way over there because it will take about 10 minutes I think but just watch this bar here and you should see that increasing and if it does one more tick we will end the episode there I think next episode we will get on to possibly doing some more killing which I need to do to level up because you don't really get experience for doing quests. You do early on, but I think past a certain point at the beginning, the only time you'll get experience is by killing mobs. So I really do need to start doing that again. I've not done it for quite a while. So I'll make the next... What was that? Oh, energy. That'll make the next episode slightly more interesting, I think. 
Well, I hope you like what you've seen, guys, and I hope maybe I've helped you uh, somebody in some way and showing them what, how I've learned and what I've learned. Uh, don't forget, if you do like the videos, leave me a like and subscribe. This is all Grey, signing off. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, before I go, uh, I just wanted to share with you something else I've learned very quickly. I... Uh, I did check this. I wonder why I couldn't work it out. I, I did. I, I looked at this and I did look down, look down, down, manage crafting. I do know how to do it. There we go. So we manage crafting and it's because I haven't got the right things. Melted iron shard, thin hide and blackstone powder. If I had that in, then I could make these items. All right. So just a footnote to this episode. All right, folks. Signing off, really, this time. <laughs>